Hey guys, welcome back to another Default Cube CG Matter video. It's not really a tutorial, but more so an announcement that Blender version 2.83 is now in alpha and available to download. So we're gonna talk about, let me switch screens. Uh, we're gonna talk about where you can download it, um, how I even knew it was in alpha when I did, etc. And even, and we're also gonna talk about whether or not it's worth to switch. So first of all, how did I know that it's in alpha and is it just a nice tip for people? Uh, you can look at the Git of Blender and it will show everything that happens as it happens. So within the last 20 to 16 hours, you can see, oh, a bunch of stuff with the number 2.83. So very recently, this thing was dropped in alpha and I guess you don't care about that. How do we download it? So to download it, which you shouldn't be doing, but if you do want to download it, you just go to the Blender website. That's a .org, not a .com. You go to download, and then uh, you're going to see this, which is 2.81, which is not what we want. We're over that. We need to scroll down for this hidden thing. Go experimental. You click that. It's almost as if they don't want you to find it. And then you're going to see Blender 2.82, which is in beta. We already know that. But then 2.83, which is in alpha. And then you just click the button if you have Windows, or you toggle over to whatever version. And I guess, you know, as as for an installation download tutorial, this is pretty pretty garbage. You just you just hit a button, you wait for this to finish. It's going to take me forever. And then inside, you're going to find an executable uh, if you have Windows for launching Blender. So really, that's how you navigate to it. So now let's talk about if it's something you should even be doing. You know. You know, this thing's an alpha. Should you be switching? Maybe use 2.81, maybe use 2.82. I don't care. You shouldn't be, you should not be switching to 2.83 alpha. This is really just for people. The people who should be switching over are people who are maybe developing add ons or writing code for something and need to be uh, up to date with everything that's happening. Maybe they're, I don't know, they're implementing something and they want to work on the newest version to future proof themselves. There is no reason for you to hop on 2.83 alpha. This thing was released today, at least as I'm recording this. There's nothing in there that you're going to find valuable that isn't already in the 2.82 beta. And very likely everything you need is already in version 2.81. So already the beta is a bit of a stretch, but this alpha is just nonsense. But of course, you can just download it and spite me and play around with it. But yeah. I just wanted to hop on the scene just as I heard about it. Blender 2.83 is now in alpha, so expect some uh, rolling changes happening there, but probably also being put into the beta. I don't know. I don't know what their uh, release structure is anymore. It gets pretty confusing when you have a official release, a like a beta thing that's one version higher and then also an alpha all at the same time. It's confusing, but um, yeah, you just you, you go here to download it. Oh, by the way, it is done. So I mean, I was just stalling to give myself enough time. Um, good. Uh, you're going to get the zip file. You're going to open it. You're going to have to extract it. And then I'm going to have to stall a bit more. How, how's your day going? My day. Oh, it just slowed down. I thought it would only be a 10 second thing. Uh, you know, this is this is the uh, price you pay for being childish and wanting to do 2.83 alpha. I don't do cuts. I just do one take videos. So you're just going to have to sit here with me. Um, what we're going to expect is a folder that we extracted and in there, there will be an executable. I just really want to see that splash screen that will be probably identical to all the others or the 2.82 one and then have that 2.83 text in the corner. Uh, yep, this, this is... This is the reality of tutorial making. Okay, here we go. No, I'm not I'm not going to cut it. I'm just going to leave it as is. This is lazy video making 101. I find it more entertaining to release the video this way and watch it as I do just the edit to trim the beginning and end. I find that more entertaining than editing it to make it look nice. Okay, cool. We've extracted it. You open this up and then you're going to see a whole lot of stuff that you don't care about. You think, oh, maybe you should go inside this folder unless you're like doing add-ons and stuff. Don't go in there. Just go to this executable. It might look a bit different depending if you're on Mac or Linux, but generally the principle is the same. And then you just launch it and it's going to tell you it's a virus and it probably is. So run it anyways. And then let's see that splash screen. See if it, anything looks different. Yep. We have this um, splash screen that I think is also in 2.82 while it's in beta. But up here, you see 2.83 alpha. We've done it, guys. So, yeah, there you go. You now know everything you need to know. See ya.